Hi everyone, uh, today at MegTech um, we will be explaining how to replace the iPhone 6S battery. Um, again, thanks for choosing MegTech and I'll go ahead and start off. So, without any repair process, we need to make sure the phone is turned off uh, before we start doing anything to the phone. So, I'll turn the phone off. Now, once the phone is turned off, to get into the iPhone 6S, you have to remove the two star screws from the bottom of the phone. Making sure you put the screws in a safe place so you know where they come, they go back into the phone afterwards. Now to open the screen, the uh, best thing to do is to use the sucker. And place the sucker just above the bottom button, the main home button should say. So you place the sucker just above the home button, uh, not over the home button, and then basically you just pull gently and you'll see at the bottom of the phone it starts to lift very, very slightly. Now you can, if you've got long nails like I have, you can actually just slide your nail into the one corner and it will just lift up. If you haven't got long nails, and we obviously we supply these plectrums and separating devices, and you can just slide them into the bottom of the phone like that, and as you see, it just pries it apart. So you can see there's a gap there now. And what you have to do then is you have to gently, by using another another separation device, to run it up the sides, not all the way, just up the, up each side of the screen until the actual screen starts to come away from the frame. Um, you have to take a little bit of time doing this. I wouldn't rush it, because if you rush it you might damage something. So you just get one corner, one side of the screen up, then go around the other side, and then do exactly the same. You gradually go up and just gradually pry. So basically now it's freed up. Now, when grab, grasping the screen with your finger and thumb, you can gradually just ease it up gently. And then open the screen. Don't go more than 90 degrees, because you will put stress on the connections. Just down here, inside the phone, there's uh, you can pull the ribbons, and then obviously then it will break the screen. So you have to make sure you hold it at 90 degrees, no more, or it will damage the screen. From this point, um, I would personally get the battery in question that you need to change it with, and taking these two screws out here. So I'll go ahead and do this. Um, be aware these two screws are different lengths, so the one on the first to the edge of the chassis is the shortest and the longest one is on the inside towards the battery. So that's been removed, I'll just have the plate out. So you can see there's a couple of connectors there, it's the one on the inside that we're going to remove. Uh, again I'll just pop, this, pop the battery connector out of the way and I'll get the battery in that I'm going to replace it with. And I'm going to just push the connector on so it's connected up. And then I'm going to close the lid gently and I'm just going to press the power button to make sure the screen comes on to make sure the battery works. Let's off. So once the phone's initiated and come fully on, um, I'll just make sure that, that uh, it's got uh, some voltage and it seems to be a good quality battery and then I'll de just turn the power back off again afterwards. So it's got 65%, that's a pretty decent battery, um, so I'll go ahead and just uh, turn the phone back off. So I'll just connect this battery again. Uh, so I'll go ahead now and I've got to now remove the LCD unit. Um, be aware when these screws come out that you put them back exactly the places where they come from and don't get them mixed up because if you get them mixed up 
it will cause permanent damage to the phone because they are different lengths and it will go straight through the circuit board because of the two because they'll be too long or too short and it does cause damage. So I'll take that one. Again, put the screws in the safe place and then and keep them in a in the former pattern that you can remember how they go back into the phone afterwards. Just to emphasise, all the time I've been doing all this, I've been holding the screen at a 90 degree angle, so it's not putting stress on any of the connections. So I've got to take this metal plate out, and then you've got to carefully uh, disconnect all of the ribbons. So we'll start from the bottom one, that one's come free, this is the first one, then I'll pop the second one. Second one, and the third one, which is the that one there. So now, for, now, now the screen is completely disconnected. It's a bit of a bit sticky. Right, so this battery has got to come out. This obviously has been changed before. Uh, this battery is actually perfectly fine, but I'm just showing this as an example. So I'm going to now try and pry this battery out. Um, be aware that you can't pry up any higher where the um, volume controls are and the hold button. And you can't pry from this side because you most likely will damage the circuit board if you pry from this side. So you can only pry from the furthest outside edge on the chassis down the side of the battery. I will try and pry it, but I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to heat it up because it's looking pretty well. I'm going to try and pry this out now. I've heated this up with uh, some uh, hair dryer so that the, um, the back of the phone is quite warm. Um, you don't need to heat up the main board as such, so you can just heat the one side where the battery is located. So I'm going to try and repry this back out again. I'm going to pull these sticky strips. The technique I'm using is you put it to the side and then gradually just pull them downwards. And that snapped. So it doesn't matter if it does snap, you just have to keep prying it. <laughs> there isn't really an easy way of getting these out, unfortunately. So I've got the edge up there. It is bending the battery a little bit, but it should be okay. And that's it, it's out. Now, I'm gonna remove all this tape from inside of the chassis of the phone because it's just gonna get in the way. And it's because you can tell it's quite elasticy. It will stretch, it does snap a little bit, but it does actually come out eventually. So it's completely clean. There's no leftover parts in there where it's going to get in the way. So I'm going to head now and try and fit this new battery in the phone. The easiest way I've found of installing these is literally to just give it like that. It's going to literally to stick the actual sticky strips onto the back of the battery. So whichever side peels off easiest. This one's blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the box, the sticky strips up onto the back of the battery. Just 
firm it down, make sure it's stuck down pretty well. And then peel the pink stuff off. But yeah, one attempt at this really. Um, so I'm just going to lay this in as best I can. That's him basically in. And I'm not going to connect it, I'm going to leave it disconnected for the time being. So I'm going to go ahead now and reinstall the screen. These are a bit fiddly to put them back. Um, my best policy is you line it up and you'll feel it like the way it lines up because it will actually pretty much fall into place when it's in the right position. And you just push down and it clips. You can even physically clip in when it goes in. Like that one. So they're back in. Now if you didn't put the screen in properly, what you'll find is is that you'll get lines down the screen or the uh, touch screen will not function properly. So I'll just power this on, just make sure that everything works. <laughs> Go for the battery first. So just connect the battery back up. Right. So now the phone is back on. Um, again, oops, got a message. <laughs> um, again, um, so it's back on. Uh, the phone's all working. And the touch screen works so it's as it should be. So I will now go ahead and I've got to put the metal plate and the screws back on to the battery and also for the screen. I'll do the screen one first. So put the metal plate back in. Get the screwdriver. So again, you've got to make sure these screws go back in the same places where they came from. So this is the top left one. This is the bottom, bottom left. Bottom right, right one, and the last one for the for the screen is a long one which goes right on top right corner. Like so. So I've just got to put the metal plate back for the battery. Like so. And there's a long screw and a short screw. The long one goes near the battery. I'm not going to do it all the way up, I'm just going to do it most of the way up and then move it around and then line the other one up first. screen back in first so it has to push in at the top edge so basically use it all you can see there's like little the grooves these grooves basically have to hook into the frame at the top of the screen first and then you push down at the sides all the way down and it's all back in the way it should be So I'm just going to put the last two screws in, which are just two security screws. One. And the last one on this side. So there you go, the screen's all working. Uh, Screws are back in. Um, there's a bit of tape I can't take off, but anyway, it'll come off later. Um, so yeah, it's all back to where it should be. Uh, the battery is at 
it seems to be holding the charge quite well. I'll whack that onto a, a charger, fill it, fill it right up to 100% and then it'll be ready to go.